What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today, of course, we're playing KSP. I have, I was thinking kind of outside the box. I had, I had always had something on the back burner that I always wanted to do and just couldn't quite do it, and I thought I'd kind of take another crack at it, and it definitely didn't work. This is by no means like a success. I had a couple of test flights that went okay. I, let's, I'll just show you what I mean. All right, let's just get this bitch in the air. We're going to put this thing up to, I don't know, couple thousand feet not too high because honestly it's not that big of a deal what we're doing but just high enough to sort of get a good feel for what I'm doing is something that we could do in future crafts it would become a fail safe it would become something that we could do to get out of sticky situations so I'd really like this to work because they're small they don't take up a lot of weight and oh what's going on here oh I know I know I'm not on here am I control from here there we go. All right. For some of you, that right there was probably a tip, but a little bit of what we're doing. Let's gather some speed. This thing, I'm noticing, I can't pull it back. So we're going to gather some speed. Try and get some height. Let's see, can we fast forward without the nose going down? I hate that. 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 That the nose drops whenever you try and do the fast forward. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. It's no sense. Nonsensical. No sense. No sense made today. We're gonna have to land on land. We're not gonna land on that. We're gonna have to do this over land. Because otherwise it's kind of moot. I mean it, it it's in the end, when we're using these things as intended, it won't matter if we hit land or water. For the sake of a practice, I want to hit land. So we're just gonna loop around, we're gonna gather up. A little more altitude, hopefully, before we get there. Either way, this is fine. And then we're going to do it over Cape Curbnaveral. So, what we're doing, something I've always wanted to do is the Halo Drop Pod, right? Something that can kind of slow itself down, essentially, and slam it to the ground. You know, basically using like a like eight or nine air brakes on a really small lander with just the little Kerbal seat. And a couple of parachutes maybe some landing like i don't know like I, I never knew how i wanted it to go because i didn't want it to involve parachutes but as you can tell along the left there we've got a million of them so we had to do parachutes it just that's just the way it is that's just the way the cookie crumbles so i've built something that i'm going to show you in a second here and i really do hope that they work and that is that they don't explode when they hit the ground that everybody is safe we have built essentially small versions of little escape pods so we got three on the top three on the bottom again this is just a beginning test to see how these things fall right i did i did a test without a kerbal in the chair and of course that didn't work because it like all i wanted to see was would they get away from the craft but but it actually you know you can't open the parachutes can't really put the landing legs down you can't do anything so they just free fell so this is the first real test this is the first true test I'm actually intending to shed speed. I don't want to stall per se, but I want to be going pretty slow because there's a couple of guys that are pretty close to the back of this. And if memory serves me correctly, it opens from the top. Yeah, so I can't actually open the bottom of this. So I'm hoping these two guys survive. Who is it? Will it tell me? Zarian and Jaffa. Okay, that's expensive cargo. Okay, so I've got a button made. That didn't help us. I tried to pull back and nothing happened. All right, here we go, boys. You guys ready? You boys ready? You boys ready? All right. Firing in five, four, three, zero. <laughs> ah, they made it. They made it. sure they've all got their shit together. Awesome. Totally worked. I'm so happy with that. That's crazy. Let's see if we can land. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, let's see if we can land before they do. <laughs> but no, they're like, they're almost on the fucking ground already. But challenge accepted. Actually, this looks like it'll be a little bit easier than I thought. Oh, Oh no, oh no, okay, Whew. this thing's super tweaky. It has way too much roll. FYI, if you guys are going to use the mallard, take some of the roll off. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. We are on the ground. Boink. Boink. Okay, brakes are on hard. Brakes are on hard. Where is everybody? Everybody's coming down right around us. That's pretty skookum. Okay, this is going straight. I'm going to ditch it, maybe. Let's do this. There we go. Let's check out one of these things landing. Oh, you almost hit the control tower. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, they work. Oh, that makes me so happy. Because my wonder was, you know, will the legs hold? How fast are they going to hit the ground? I was trying to build these things with like no weight. I thought maybe about putting a heat shield on, but yeah, I didn't, I honestly had no idea how this was going to work, but it worked. All of them seem to still have their shocks, the shock absorbers and the landing legs. This guy landed on a hill. Excuse me, this girl, Julia, Julia landed on a fucking hill. Look at that. It's like a 20 to 25 degree angle roughly. And she's okay. Guys, this is a resounding success. I was kind of hoping one would come down on a building. I think this guy was the closest. This dude was certainly the closest. He's like, yeah, he almost came down on it. Guys, it worked. All right. Golf clap. Golf clap. Another successful KSP mission. I will, I will put this into the Dropbox. I have no idea why, because you could very easily build a better system for this. And the final product that we actually put on vessels as a failsafe will be much more refined and polished than this, but I just, this was test number 1.1. We are in, we're in alpha of this design. So beta is going to be great. Pre-release is going to be great. Early access where we charge a fortune for you guys to play a half-broken model is going to be great. And that final product we put on the ship is going to be fucking awesome. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.